there she be in all of her glory. I still like to call her the beast, but she is. Can't wait now to get the motor running. <laughs> Well, I'm not too happy with these crash bars that I've created. It's really annoying to have my arm resting here, and as I'm steering, I'm rubbing the hairs off the side of my arm. Uh, although it does add some kind of crash protection for a, a T-bone type of hit. Ah, still, I don't like that. I got my shifter right here, and that's the problem. This is going to be getting in the way of everything. Uh. Well, these were just too annoying, so I took them out. Saves a little weight, doesn't help with side crash protection, but it is what it is. So here we got the Yamaha 185 harness laid out. This is actually um, not too complicated. Figured out where everything went, marked it. Now I'm just trying to find a new location for everything on the new trike. This one took quite a while to lay out. <laughs> this is a headlight mount. Yeah, hopefully I don't smell any plastic burning as I'm doing this. But I've got to have these here in place in order to get this just right. under there. All right. Now I'll take this guy off and a uh, headlight. I'll weld these guys up. Good, 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 good. So I just welded on the horn. Uh, took a while to find out the best location. I'm just going to put it up here, but I kind of maybe wanted this for storage or for airflow. And two, with the horn, sometimes you'll be coming up alongside a person on the left or the right of you and they swerve into you and uh, your horn is usually facing forward. I thought maybe it'd be good to put it down so it'd kind of spread out. And it's a nice loud horn. <laughs> It'll wake up most people. Hopefully that'll work out good. to put this on where my feet are going to be instead of having it all the way over and including it in the hatch the Flintstone reverse hatch um, this is just going to be coroplast under here six millimeter uh, but this is raised up an inch because I'm trying to get my legs away from this guy when it goes into a full joust I don't want it smacking into my calves So that's the first part of this. I still got to cut grooves for the uh, clutch cable here and the accelerator cable.
Got to work on that return spring for the throttle. Brake will be here. Clutch here. Ah, it's finally nice to see this done. Took a good part of a day or so just to fendangle all the little bits that uh, went into these little guys. And I kept futzing with the little panel here, trying to cut it around all the little mounts and trying to make it all pretty. Uh, oh well. What I'm marking here is the places where the uh, axle steering beam or whatever um, makes some contact with the frame on my last test run whenever this thing would go uh, into joust. Every now and again you'd hear the banging noise of this coming down on the frame. Here's a big oh, nothing. So I'm going to be adding some uh, little rubber grommets right under here to prevent that noise. Pop a hole in the frame and got these little cones that they pop in. So Didn't you notice? <laughs> My battery died. Oh. I don't know if I can uh, use this guy. We'll see. Might be clearance. Not sure. Maybe we should find out in a second. Yeah, cool. That is. Let's see if that fits. There she goes. Yeah. Nice. Either you look at my butt crack or you look at my bald spot on my head. I'd rather you look at the bald spot on my head. Alright. Which is in. Yeah. Alright. No more metal clanking. Okay, this was the battery box. It came with the motorcycle and it was a little heavy. Made this little guy out of some lightweight uh, angle iron and we put the battery right about here. Yeah, so here we go with that. This board is an exact footprint of the battery. Make sure it's not going to Smack into the shifting rod. I got about three eighths of an inch there, I'll be good. Well, slowly but surely figuring out where all this wiring's going. We got the battery connected. Got a few items connected next to it. And now we're running the main line under the seat. And we still got a ways to go. Got this guy in there. And these two guys mounted. I'm trying to locate them in easy access. And a lot of these wires I'm going to have to clip and rewire those two there. will have to be rewired to these guys here. I knew I'd have to extend some of the wires. That's okay. It's coming. Just got these in from uh, Amazon. These are the little heat shrink guys that I'll be using once I start soldering my wires together. But there's still a lot to go. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Now there's the gas tank, might get me a fuel cell, that'll be fun. Anyway, check it out next week, see what I'm doing. Um, I also wanted to mention, if you've never gone here, ElkinsDIY.com. It's a cool place. I got a lot of stuff on that website that I've uh, put on there over the years. Boats, shelters, um, survival gear, you name it. A lot of fun stuff there. Check it out. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.